Hi, this is John from Black Ag Gear. Uh, one of the things we do, we constantly are fiddling with our designs. We're trying to make a better product. We're trying to make a product that's easier to manufacture. Uh, this is one that I want to talk about today. Uh, this is the multi-fuel stove. Um, over the last probably six months, we've had to increase the pricing on this stove because the, the uh, labor to manufacture is pretty high. Uh, so we're investigating a couple of ideas. Uh, to reduce the uh, labor content and so I'm going to show them to you now. These are early in the prototype phase um, so I'm going to bring the camera in and we can talk about some of these ideas. So this is our world famous uh, multi-fuel stove. Um, we probably make the, uh, yeah, honestly we make the best uh, multi-fuel stove on the market. This stove was originally designed to burn isopropyl alcohol and we do that really really well better than probably anyone else in the world. Uh, turns out that this can also burn other fuels, denatured alcohol and such. Um, not as efficient as our um, Bobcat alcohol stove, but for international traveling it's great because you can put almost anything in here and it'll burn. So punching the part is pretty easy. Um, then we have to slot the parts and bend this in. And really where a lot of the labor comes in place is we've got to clean up all these edges and there's all these squirrely little edges in here uh, and it takes a lot of time and that's one of the problems. So one of the ideas that we're working with and again these are just prototype ideas right now uh, here it is and what we've done uh, to get rid of all this this upper half which is, it's a cool looking design it just takes a lot of work is uh, I've welded in these uh, steel pins uh, three in a spot to act as pot stands and uh, we'll fire that up. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, and it's still in the experimental stage because once I get through this, um, I have to look at it and see if the, you know, if I did take the labor content out and then I gotta go test it. So I gotta go out in the mountains, you know, 10,000 feet and test it. So I'll show you what this one looks like while it burns. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, this is way out there. This is uh, way off in the future. Now, one of the things you'll notice is there's a whole bunch of holes here and you said, hey John, one of the things you wanted to do was reduce the cost. Well, this is an idea when I'm thinking about doing, if it's popular, I might turn this into a Kickstarter program. And then what I would do is I would take this out to a uh, NC sheet metal punch place to do all of this automatically, then do the wrapping and the welding. Um, so this is feasible too, but this is probably a long-term project. So uh, let me take this one out and fire it up and show you what it looks like. Again, it's pretty breezy on my deck right now. But that is um, rubbing alcohol burning there. So come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.